Hi, the topic covered in this tutorial is converting from radians to degrees and vice versa. So let's get started. Okay, so angles in engineering may be measured in radians or degrees. Now the part of the circumference between A and B on our sketch here is called the arc AB. Now joining A and B to the origin which is the centre of the circle, produces the angle theta. And this angle is called the angle subtended by the arc AB. OK, so I've altered the diagram to show one radian and the radius of the, of the circle with the same length of the radius on the circumference of the circle. This is because the angle subtended at the centre of a circle by an arc equal in the length to the radius of the circle is defined to be one radian. Now this definition can be used to find the number of radians corresponding to a complete revolution. In a complete revolution A moves anticlockwise around the circumference back to its original position moving a distance of 2 pi r. Now every time A moves a distance r around the circumference it rotates through an angle of one radian. So in a complete revolution, A moves 2 pi r around the circumference, rotating through 2 pi radians. So a complete revolution co corresponds to an angle of 2 pi radians. And fractions of a re revolution correspond to angles which are fractions of 2 pi. So we know that one full revolution is equal to 2 pi. So half of that would be equal to pi. Now if we half that again we get pi over 2. Then if we put another point in we've got 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. So a quarter of a revolution is equal to pi over 2, half a revolution is equal to pi, three quarters of a revolution is equal to 3 pi over 2, and a full revolution is equal to 2 pi. Now alternatively, angles may be measured in degrees. So a complete revolution is defined to correspond to a rotation through an angle of 360 degrees. So we can say 2 pi equals 360 degrees. So then we can work our way around the circle again and we say pi over 2 equals 90 degrees. Pi equals 180 degrees. And 3 pi over 2 equals 270 degrees. Okay, so now we've done a bit of background work, let's have a look at uh, converting from radians to degrees. So we know now that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So doing a bit of algebra, this shows us that 1 radian is equal to 360 divided by 2 pi. Therefore, x radians, so any number of radians, is equal to x times 360 over 2 pi. So we can now use this formula to convert from radians to degrees. So let's have a look at an example. OK, so for our first example, we want to convert pi radians to degrees. So pause the video here, I'll give you a couple of minutes to work it out, and then I'll come back and work through it. OK, so let's have a look. I made a, a note of the formula at the top. So we want pi radians, which is x in this case is pi. So we say pi multiplied by 360 divided by 2 pi. 
this equals 180 degrees and from the previous exercise looking at the the circle um, we marked pi on the circle and it showed that pi was 180 degrees okay so in our second example we want to convert pi over 4 radians to degrees again I'll give you a couple of minutes to work it out and then I'll come back and work through it with you okay so we have pi over 4 which is our value of x so pi over 4 times by 360 divided by 2 pi and this equals 45 degrees okay so hopefully you all got those questions right so let's have a look at converting from degrees to radians now from our previous notes we saw that 1 degree is equal to 2 pi divided by 360 now this means that y degrees is equal to y times 2 pi over 360 so given the angle in degrees we can now convert to radians so let's have a look at an example okay so in this example we want to convert 113.5 degrees to radians now I've made a note of the formula that we need to use at the top I've shortened radians to rads uh, so I'll give you a couple of minutes to have a go at this one so pause the video and I'll come back and I'll work through it with you okay so we say y degrees 113.5 degrees is equal to y which is 113.5 times 2 pi over 360 so doing the maths this equals 1.98 rads okay so let's have a look at another example okay so in our second example we want to convert 120 degrees to radians so using the formula we've got 120 degrees equals 120 times 2 pi divided by 360 this equals 2.09 rads okay so I hope you all got the same answers that's my final example uh, if you've got any particular examples that you'd like me to work through then please post them in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to my channel